गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स सत्याकाल आदाब नमस्कार आप सबको नवरात्रि की शुभकामनाएं एंड आई होप दैट इन द कमिंग डेज वी बंगलो ओनर्स एंड रेजिडेंट्स ऑफ दी सिविल एरिया कंटोनमेंट्स विल बी एबल टू अचीव व्हाट वी हैव बीन क्रसेडिंग फॉर द लास्ट सम 15 18 इयर्स आर नॉलेज हैज ग्रोन एंड आई होप विद दिस नॉलेज we are able to take ourselves to the next pedestal now this series after a long time which is my 150th video will be covering a very vital subject which most of us are facing and very easily we been accepting is the house tax now how house tax was imposed on us whether these revenue free grants prior to 1880 was subjected to house tax or were we paying income tax or were we paying land revenue from 1765 so these questions need to be answered now here i will be taking this topic today we will start from 1880 this was the third cantonment act after the 1864 first cantonment act and for the first time in this act there were two sections or there was a particular section subjected to property tax which came under section 21 to 24 and prior to that all these properties were being subjected to income tax under act of 1886 now where is all this written it is written in the 1880 cantonment act itself I managed to lay hands on a receipt of bungalow number one twenty one of a cantonment, which was dating back to twenty sixth July eighteen ninety eight, and it was issued by the cantonment magistrate, which clearly reads what I am speaking. So, for the very existence of these properties, there have never been. मतलब वट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से दैट वी हैव नेवर बीन गवर्नमेंट लैंड वी हैव बीन पेइंग लैंड रेवेन्यू अर्लियर एंड लेटर ऑन वेन बिल्डिंग्स वो मेड ग्रेजुअली वी वर सब्जेक्टेड टू इनकम टैक्स दैट इज इनकम ऑन दी रेंटल्स और वॉट एवर वी वर गेटिंग एंड फर्दर ऑन वी वर सब्जेक्टेड टू दिस हाउस टैक्स एटीन एटी सेक्शन ट्वेंटी वन सो वॉट वॉज दिस and why were we and why are we till date paying house tax it's very simple if you all want to understand we are paying house tax in a continuation manner that earlier we were paying lagan for these lands then we started paying income tax on these lands when they were converted into built up estates and now we are subjected to house tax now a house tax it's very clearly written if there is a book called cant manual 1909 chapter of taxation appendix 7 now what does it read now friends here i will read these in a very straightforward word to word manner from the book itself that as taxes levied in a cantonment are practically levied for the benefit of government which has to provide for any deficit there may be in the cantonment fund no tax payable by government should be levied full stop if the tax imposed on buildings and land is payable by the owner comma such buildings comma etc ought not to be exempted unless they are the property of government if by the occupier they should be exempted only when government is an occupier now i have explained it in, in an earlier video also it's so beautifully written this english with commas and apostrophes is so well defined that it says that if the 
owner is in the bungalow he is subjected to house tax but if that same bungalow is occupied by an occupier other than government it is again subjected to house tax now it is exempted only when it is occupied or is owned by the government so what is in our case we need to understand now this quartermaster journal circular number 9 of 1894 clearly reads this what are we going to do we people actually don't want to study now it says in the second para taxation on officers occupying government quarters when an officer occupies quarters the property of government either by the terms of in which the tax is imposed or by an arrangement between the government and officer the tax is one which falls on the officer he should pay it very simple let the government decide whatever it wants to do it for its officer but if it is a tax payable by the owner the government as owner exempted just understand this again it is simply saying in the third para definition of the expression tax on buildings now this quartermaster journal circular number 21 of 1894 now it speaks the expression tax on building shall be deemed to include dash dash there is a lengthy line written every tax imposed on a building whether jointly with and land or as forming part of a holding or otherwise every tax imposed on the rental of a building or holding and the whole of every consolidate tax imposed for general mixed purpose again it's very clear land is inclusive in this so we are being taxed for land which we were being ta taxed in the form of a land revenue here this explanation is so clearer than the sun that no tax would be charged if the property is of government but if owned by an individual or even occupied by an individual he or she would be subjected to house tax friends please i'm hammering myself and i'm hammering you people i know some people do not like my videos some people do not want to even you know Uh, listen or forget about listening even want to understand these laws they have presumptionally agreed that these are government land and it is not possible for them to fight now where is it this it speaks of this speaks in the land revenue free grants uh, where it is very clearly said that these old grants had to be converted into new grants because the britishers were looking for land revenue and later which converted into income tax and then house tax so this is a chain which started from 1793 and it culminated in 1880 for these cantonment properties so i hope It's a small video, but this part of it is very important. Please understand, house tax means that we are being taxed for not just the built-up state; we are being taxed for the land along. Ask your tax superintendent, ask your CEO of the cantonment, write him letters on this, and then pay your tax. Thank you. Good day.